Hey guys, John here. Today we're in Diva, and for this week we're going to be using some external processing to get a, really get the most out of Diva because this is a very good analog simulation. And if you run it through some external analog plugins and some nice analog reverb, you can really get the best of both worlds and kind of really showcase what Diva is supposed to be. So with that said, let's go to right click in a preset and let's start off here on the main one and pull oscillator two and three out of the mix. So we have something like this. So first thing I kind of want to do is switch out the envelopes here. So we're going to start on these here first, but eventually we're going to switch for the amp envelope envelope to the digital one because there's something interesting that I kind of wanted to show with you, share with you guys as well. So let's start off getting a nice ARP here. Let's go to octaves three and turn our ARP on. And by the way, we're in the Mona skin. If you didn't know this already, if you're looking at this thing, why does my diva look so weird? I'll include the link below in case you're interested in getting the skin. So let's go to maybe a time base of one over 16. Something like that. And now let's kind of really dial in our amp envelope amp envelope, and kind of bring down our sustain and kind of dial in the, the decay until we kind of really feel like where it should be at. Okay, so we generally use this envelope a lot, but however, what's really nice and kind of just listen to the decay sound, the decay curve. Now let's go to the digital and select S curve. With this envelope here selected on S curve, we almost get a little bit more of a plucky sound, which is kind of nice. So I'm gonna stick with this one here for this ARP here and see where we go. So let's let's sneak in the second oscillator here, drop this down by one octave, maybe change this to a square to get some nice uh, timbre here, maybe somewhere a little bit past the square to get something kind of nice, and then kind of sneak this in here and see how we get. And let's open up our cutoff all the way. And maybe for the third one, let's also drop this down and actually, no, keep this at eight and maybe kind of change this a little bit left from center for this uh, saw wave here. And just kind of have something kind of nice like that. Okay, so now we need to do some cutoff modulation. So let's bring back down our cutoff here and let's select the envelope two, which is what we're already gonna be using and click and drag to give it some depth here and bring down our sustain. If we also want that same S curve for the other envelope that we did here, we can do that as well by selecting this envelope here and going to S curve and seeing how that sounds. Especially for ARPs, I kind of do like how this plucky sound gives. And for the release, I'm kind of going to match it pretty closely to the decay here. And same for the uh, first envelope, the amp envelope. envelope. Okay, so we have something like this here. So one of the first things I kind of want to do is start adding a little bit of effects to this. So the first one, let's go with a nice chorus. And I generally like ensemble is my favorite, but let's go to classic and see how that sounds. Something like that's kind of nice. Maybe a little bit less in the mix. And what, what might be nice too is to add another voice. Let's click here for a voice two here. So we have two voices and then over here where it says LFO two, let's select this here and let's go to stack index and then hold and click stack and kind of pan this a little bit here. So we get a nice wide stereo using two voices here. And since we're here in the effects, let's do our second bank and maybe just do a little bit of delay here. Maybe bring up center just a little bit here. I kind of like the delay as the default here for these uh, for the time signatures here. Okay, so now, especially with Diva, right, we have some nice effects, but we don't really have EQ or compression or stuff like that. So this is something that I want to do out of the synth here. So for this channel, I have added from Arturia this pre-1973, which is a pretty nice EQ here. So we can always high pass this a little bit here. Maybe go to about 50. Give a little bit of a high shelf. 
And this is kind of up to taste here on the lower band, maybe around 150, 160, somewhere right there. We can just drag a little bit of that down. And I have fiddled with these here. I kind of like type two a little bit better. Maybe something kind of like that. And we can also add some, some saturation if you're using this plugin as well. We can add a little bit of input gain. But for this sound, I don't really think we really need it. So let's go to the compressor now and let's go here and open this bad boy up and let's go to a new preset. And for this, I think a ratio maybe of three or maybe even four to one might be appropriate. So let's start bringing down our threshold here. And maybe just about 4 dB of gain reduction should be fine. And I've noticed, especially on this compressor here, maybe 25 is good for it, uh, for like an ARP attack to really get the transients out, but also still get a nice attack. And maybe change the recovery to about 400. So we're losing about 4 dB here, so we do want to give it a little bit of extra, extra makeup gain here. So we can grab this here, maybe give it 4, something like that. So without this channel strip here, so if we turn this effects off, and then with, subtle changes, but sometimes it's nice running it through gear like this as well. Now let's go add a little bit of reverb here. So let's select our Valhalla Vintage Verb. And for something like this, especially on synthesizers, if you do have Vintage Verb as well, Let's load this bad boy up whenever it decides to. So we're on concert hall right now. What is nice is going to a dirty plate, you know what I'm saying? Because it does have a good sound for synthesizers. And maybe dial this back just a little bit here, something kind of like that. It really kind of gives off that organic analog vibe. We can always change out the filters while we have most of this work done and kind of see how the different filters sound. The cascade's really nice, especially if you go from rough to clean. Check out the multi-mode. Really, the UB here is actually pretty cool too as well. And with some drums. Maybe change our mode here for two down or something like that. So for this patch here, I'm going to leave this on the ladder filter here if you'd like to download it. Keep in mind, we did some external processing. You can do this in the same plugins if you do have them, or you can kind of just follow along in something a similar EQ or a similar compressor and kind of just do some basic stuff. I do want to kind of showcase that to get really the most out of Diva, we do want to use some external plugins and the post processing is going to be a little bit more important because we don't have a built-in EQ. We don't have a built-in compressor that we can really kind of glue things in. We have two effect slots and we have five of these different effects. So with that being said, Diva is limited in that sense, but it gives us a little bit more creativity to do stuff in the post-processing stuff. So yeah, hopefully you learned something. I'm going to put this patch up in the video description below if you would like to have it. And yeah, we'll see you in the next video.